Good morning, folks. Today we're going to hit two interesting studies, one at the cosmological scale and the other one focused on the Milky Way magnetic field. But we've also got a bit of space weather to report, so let's start there with the last 24 hours on our star. Minor M-class solar flares from the remaining sizable sunspot group, small coronal hole on the north, and lots of plasma filaments pretty much everywhere you look on the disk. We are monitoring those for eruptive activity first and foremost today, and while we're still eyeing the sunspots for solar flares as well, they have produced only smaller ones so far, and they are heading for the limb towards the far side now. Coming to Earth, there was a very minor discontinuity in the solar wind yesterday, nothing major, just a shift in the physical and magnetic characteristics. It's brought the KP index back up off the floor of geomagnetic calm, but only a bit. No geomagnetic storm conditions have been reached. First up in today's articles is this, about the thousandth paper on why we don't need to use dark matter for galactic rotation curve reconciliation. Baryons are normal matter like plasma, protons, gases, dust constituents, and when fully accounted for, you don't really need much else to explain the observed dynamics. The top story today hits the galactic magnetic field, which we discuss quite a bit here, the toroidal and poloidal forms in the central plane fields, which form a Parker instability and end up as a waveform, the galactic current sheet separating the north and south galactic magnetic fields, which are shown to be present as a cyclic reversal of the north and south fields within the plane. Well, now they have also attempted to look at the spiraling plane fields and have already found another magnetic reversal on their very first try. Arrows show the field direction. While this is not the same as the galactic electric wave, it does present another element of complexity to the galactic magnetism. Once again, turning out that the magnetic reversal aspect is much more relevant than most astronomers had realized in the past. Two quick notes to end here. First, we'd love to see you out at Observer Ranch for one of our upcoming events or just for fun. I'll be out there today from late morning to mid-afternoon, and we would love to shake your hand and chat all things in Observer World, observerranch.com. Also, folks, today the next edition of our e-magazine comes out. It is the best way to stay up to date each month on everything that's happening relating to the topics we cover regularly. And when you sign up today, you'll also get our special from two weeks ago, the Q&A video. Each month there is a new e-magazine issue and a special release. Link to join the Observer Review is below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.